Okay, so we're going to have a look at the um, required practical for light for the AQA physics. Let's just look at the equipment you need first. You'll need a power pack to run your um, light box. The light box should have a culminating lens at the front. Okay, health and safety requirement is that you are careful about touching the bulb because it gets quite hot. Okay, you'll need a um, slit to cause you to get a single ray of light. You need two different opaque materials, sorry, two different transparent materials to test. A ruler, protractor, and a nice sharp pencil. Okay, so now you have to set up the piece of paper ready for your experiment. The first thing you can do is just draw a horizontal line. Okay, and then you want to draw a perpendicular line to that. So if you make a mark on the line, line up your protractor over that mark right in the center. Get it completely flat onto the line so the 0 and the 180 are matching up on across the line. Put a point at 90 degrees. You can now join these points up and you've got a line that's perfectly perpendicular to this line. Okay, so this is now the normal line. Okay, now if I take the glass block I'm going to use, I want to get this glass block roughly over this side of the line that way when the ray comes in it can refract and come out again and it won't uh, it can come out the other side if you if you do it this way around and try to fire the ray in you're not going to be able to work out where it's come out from so it's going to be on this side draw around okay so the next thing is I'm going to get the ray box ready so I'm going to plug into the AC. It doesn't really matter which one you plug it into, but the AC will work. Okay, now the ray box is on. The culminating lens is bringing the rays or the, the light together a bit. Stick my slit in the way. Aim it at the um, the uh, intersection of the normal line and this line here and uh, I'll now need to turn the lights off to make sure we can take the correct readings. Okay, so we've set up the experiment now. We've made the room nice and dark, and we can see an incoming ray or an incident ray, a reflected ray, and the ray that's been through the block and has emerged, the emergent ray, if you like. Okay, what you've got to do is make sure that the incident ray is exactly where your normal line and the block intersect. So by messing around with that, making sure it's exactly lined up with that, and then also making sure you get a reflected ray you can actually see, which might mean you need to make the room a bit darker. So now I'm gonna track where all those parts are by putting crosses in the ray. I put a cross in this ray, and I put a cross in the reflected ray, and I'm gonna put two crosses in the refracted ray so I can work out where it emerged from the block. And I'll put these crosses nice and far apart to improve the accuracy of the measurement. Okay. Okay, so we, we've made the crosses and now it's time to go and um, to draw the lines through it and, and collate all our data really. So move the glass block out of the way. You can see that the incoming ray came to the cross between the normal line and where the medium of the glass started. So I can draw that on. I don't need to have the ray box here either, I can get that out of the way. But I'm going to be as accurate and careful as possible. You should notice also that the crosses I put in the line, um, the crosses aren't along with the line, the ray, they are cutting through it, so it's easy to determine exactly the middle of those two cross points. Okay, so this is the incident ray. I'm putting arrows on so I can keep track of what's happening. I've got the reflected ray here, which came to this point here. Okay, so this is my angle of incidence. If I get my protractor and measure it in a second, this is my angle of reflection. Okay. Now what actually happened was, as the light came into the glass block, it got refracted once as it went from the fast medium of the air to the slow medium of the glass, and it got refracted a second time when it went from the slow medium of the glass to the fast medium of the air. But I do need to still get the information about this second refraction event in order to work out what happened to the light inside the glass. I couldn't put any crosses inside the glass. So the ray came out like this, which means it must have come from here in a straight line to strike this boundary here. So now I've got all the information about what happened to that ray of light. 
the ray refracted. This is the angle of refraction. So now I'm just going to measure those angles. Okay. So if I put my protractor on, make sure the cross is lined up exactly on the intersection between the normal line and the medium boundary. Get the zero on the line and counting round from 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, and it's 55 degrees. So this angle here is 55 degrees. That means my angle of incidence was 55 degrees. If the law of reflection is true, I would expect this to be 55 degrees. So if it's out by a lot, I'll be thinking I've made a mistake. So this is 0, 10, 20. I'm counting on the inside scale this time. 20, 30, 40, 50. And you can see it's actually 56. Okay, so there's always a bit of an error, but that's within what I'd have expected. Okay, and now I want to get my angle of refraction. So it's this is the first time the, the ray was refracted. It was refracted again a second time here, but I'm only interested in this first event. Okay, and the ray all lined up on, on the dot. The ray was refracted 0, 10, 20, 30, 3 degrees. Okay, so 33 degrees. Right, so I've got all my information for material number one. Now I'm going to use material number two. As you can see, it's not the same size block, but I should still be able to fire the ray through it in exactly the same way as I did with this larger glass block. So as long as I get my this plastic block nicely lined up, draw around it carefully. I'm really interested in this back line here so I can see where the emergent ray comes out. And I can just go ahead and repeat the experiment again uh, in the dark. Okay, so I've set it up. I've drawn around the plastic block. I've turned the lights off. Now I'm firing the ray down exactly the same line that the ray went down before. And I think you can see that the ref reflected ray is following exactly the same path, right? There's no point in me putting a cross on that because it's exactly on the dot. In fact, it may be marginally over to the to the left a bit, which would make this angle a little bit smaller, which would even match up with what we're expecting, because it should be 55 and 55. But I can't see any benefit in me putting across in this, in this line here. The ray emerges here, so I'm going to put two crosses far apart in this line. right? And I'm also going to just make sure I know which ray is which. So this was the glass one, and the ray that I'm going to draw here will be for this plastic. Okay, and now I've got all the information to go and collect uh, again with the lights on. Okay, so now I can just get my ruler. It's maybe a little confusing, but this outer box was when we did the glass. This inner box was with the plastic. So the ray emerged from the plastic here. So it came out there. So from here, it must have gone straight from there to there. Okay, so it's gone this way. Okay, the ray diagrams help me keep track of what's actually going on, not the ray diagrams, sorry, the arrows on the ray diagrams. Okay, so now I'm just going to measure that. Since I don't need to measure the angle of reflection because it was the same, pretty much, or it would have been too difficult to see any difference in it, I'm just going to measure my angle of refraction. So 0, 10, 20, 30, 37. So the angle of refraction was 37 degrees. So angle of incidence, 55 degrees, the same as before. Angle of reflection was approximately the same again, 56. So we can see there was angles of incidence and reflection for material number one, the glass, and the plastic. Law of refle reflection is working, but when it came to refraction, different materials, different speeds, so uh, you get a difference. Okay.